Hi, my name is Jerry Montgomery. I'm a professional trumpet player and teacher in Chicago, Illinois. I'd like to talk to you a little bit today, kind of the second half of wind patterning. One of the previous videos we talked about wind patterning without the trumpet, not moving the lips, but raising and lowering the tongue to create a song in the wind, such as something like that. Now, that feeling of relaxation becomes impeded by the trumpet sometimes. This is our stimulus for the response of tension. Now, how do we do that? Break that, break that response. Well, wind patterning with the trumpet. So, I just wind patterned the national anthem there. So, kind of the same thing. And when we wind pattern, <clears throat> we want to make sure that we're putting an airstream into the trumpet that's relaxed but that has the maximum volume of air before the trumpet won't take any more and it starts kicking air back at us. So I liken it to a freight train that's moving three miles an hour. If you stand in front of it, it will run you over. Okay, so it's still powerful. It's very large and moving very slowly and relaxed. That's what our airstream is doing. So I find wind patterning a great way to rest as much as you're playing in your practice sessions while keeping you fully engaged. I always tell my students that, that 30 minutes of intense practice, intense practice is better than two hours of watching TV and playing scales. Okay, Intense practice. There's nothing magical about exercises. It's how we do the exercises, whether it's in Arben or Clark, any of those. So, wind pattern. Hopefully, that everything will carry through, and if it doesn't, then we've got more work to do. Our endurance will get better, our accuracy will get better, our range will get better. Several aspects of the trumpet are going to get better, just with the alleviation of tension. Hope this helps. Keep wind patterning. Thanks.